Yo, what is going on guys? This is Wet Fingers Gaming coming at you with another video today. I'm doing a little iPhone clip guys. Uh, I got my iPhone 6 plus something S something. But uh, so yeah, I'm, I haven't been uploading any videos recently. You know, my wheel stands down there. It's all mangled. You know, we got stuff all in pieces. You know, I've been freaking going ham with the drinks and whatnot. But right here we got a uh, circuit board. Oh my low power. But we got the circuit board right here for uh, the G920. So right here is, uh, let me flip it over for you guys. You know, I'm going to be making a video. But you see these two switches? Let me put it somewhere where it ain't going to short out. Okay, so here. That's the left, uh, what you call it. That's the left uh, paddle switch and that's the right. Uh, so I'm talking to this dude. I'll probably post the name in the video and give him credit because he deserves it all. But right here, there's one, two, three. You guys can see that. Those are the three solder points. Uh. So the ones you want to use if you when you're doing this would be that guy and that guy. You want to leave that one out of it. That's what he did. So I'm just going off him, and it's gonna be rad. But uh, so right now I'll just show you this really quick. This is gonna be a short video. So I did get uh, a shifter, and it did come in. It's kind of loud, you know. Uh, see this bolt right here? See how it's threaded all the way through? Uh, it's absolutely loud. But that's alright. I mean, it's, it's loud, but I'll probably end up uh, filing it down or putting some. I'm not even looking there. Filing it down or putting like some silicone or something on it. Like maybe uh, thinking, uh, what's it called? Holy crap! Cutting boards are made out of it. I forget what it's called. Uh, yeah, that kind of plasticky, uh, smooth material. What is it called now? Gosh darn it! I work with it all the time. It is. Uh, I don't know what it's called, whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, so I turned the e-brake upside down, guys. Uh, so right here, you see, let me see. See that switch right there? So when I pull this back, it pushes the switch down, which I got, crap, sorry, iPhone sucks. But I got so lucky, like watch. It goes, it's like, there's no way it's gonna make it. It somehow makes, and it goes all the way down and pushes the switch in. You know, I followed uh, some videos online. I mean, I was absolutely stoked on this. I mean, look at this. Look at the angle. Goes in and barely. Oh my God! Sorry about the focus. I, you know, I hate watching videos where the focus sucks. But so it's going, it's going. It barely touches and it forces it down. But uh, I really couldn't figure out what to do with this. You know, where to mount the switch and everything. Or you know, the rest of this was, was uh, pretty easy. Maybe farther away. I am so sorry about the focus too, by the way. It sucks. But, uh, yeah, I just really didn't know about the rest. Uh, or everything else was pretty easy for You know, I took off the back master cylinder, whatever you call it. Uh, you know, I was thinking about leaving it on and filling it with hydro fluid and adding, like, a, a little reservoir and have it pump so you actually do get the feeling. But I decided not to. But yeah, so all I did is I took a little washer right here. It's about, i say, an inch and a half in diameter. And it has almost just about the close I could get to the same diameter as the bolt running through it. So, uh, so yeah, what I did is I put that right there. And then I put three, crap, three nuts. You can see I'm going to put uh, the red uh, tape over it, electrical tape. But the reason I did that wasn't for looks, just so it helped uh, underneath the, crap, wires. Shit. So underneath the switch, I used, uh, crap, you can barely see, sorry about this guys, but you see how it comes close and it gets really close to at the bottom, like, what brings it, it used to get caught on the nuts, this little, uh, so it's tin, it's like, uh, venting, like, venting ducts, so I got those and I got some tin snips and I cut out four pieces of them, and then I bent one at a time to the right shape, and then once I did that, I put some tape over it, because it, uh, it's kind of sharp, and it looks a little bit nicer, but I was going more for, uh, you know, just helping it hold together because they were kind of flopping around. I didn't really do it for looks, but I did do the red just because it matches. But I already had it lying around. Otherwise, I would have just left it uh, metal. Like, as you can see, you can see how sharp those edges are right there. You know, I don't want to get cut or anything. So, electrical tape definitely worked out. So, yeah, and then I drilled two holes in it. So, uh, we got the, the four layers of uh, tin running or really, uh, really thin aluminum. I don't know if it's tin or aluminum. Anyways, but yeah. So it's running uh, four right here, four, four, and then when you get to this last one where I drilled the hole, 
I actually cut it so there's just one so it has uh, a little bit more play so it gets pushed back a little more without breaking the button if you know what I'm saying and then we put the spring in here it came with the spring but I don't have uh, the special tools to snip like the uh, the clips you know to release them and I couldn't get it off so I just said screw it and I went out and bought a different spring you know it feels really good you know it's not too tight but it's definitely not too loose I mean it has some resistance to it I don't want to be throwing around my wheel stand I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount that crap sorry about the focus again and then it mounts it right here it came with uh, the screw and it's weird it's metric so it's a uh, M8 uh, and then one two five so if you guys know your screws whatever it's like a, I don't even know eight millimeters and one two five I guess this is a thread count or something and then added a uh, let's see where are we at in here so in here added a uh, washer you can see one on the outside of here sorry about the focus I can't tell you guys enough I mean I hate watching videos that have crappy focus but this is an iPhone so there's a giant washer on the back to kind of hold everything in place you know if there wasn't a washer this uh this nut right here would go through you know go straight through it anyways uh so yeah I added that and then there's one on the inside as well so basically it's, it's gonna be dope though I mean let's get that view crap you know and but yeah I'm really stoked for this yeah you know I got the two wire leads coming out here so I'm gonna hook them up I don't know which one's positive which one's negative on uh, the circuit board over here I have no idea so I'm gonna put little clips on and show you guys I mean uh, not these splice these cross splice things but where are they at when I mean, you guys have seen them I'll know what did I do with them? You know what I'm talking about, the male female uh, clips. What the heck? Where them suckers go? I don't know. Here's the tin I used, or the aluminum. See how thin it is? I mean, it's super thin. Just wave it around. Yeah, uh, let me find those splices really quick. Where are those at? Got my solder over here. Got new Walmart tools. Wait, right here's the splices. So, you know. You guys have seen those uh, splices, so that way if I want to remove it or anything, it just makes it super simple. I am going to have to use uh, thinner wire. I was running an like 18 uh, gauge speaker wire, or no, 16 gauge, so that that's uh, it's pretty fat. So I'm going to try to switch it to uh, around 20 plus because it's having a hard time right now. Here's my suit. It's having a hard time right now going through the hub, so I just gave it called it quits for tonight you know I can't really do anything about it I don't want to screw it up or have patience so uh, there's no way you guys are gonna be able to see in there and I don't think I have a headlight right next to me but in there there's a really really let me try to get that focus I don't know you guys I mean if you guys are doing this yourself you'll, you'll know there's a really small hole in there where this wire goes I mean you can see it right there and that it won't fit uh, my wire so I gotta get some smaller wire but here's the hub uh, you know you can turn it cool if you guys haven't seen this I mean, it's cool you see uh crap let me show you shit shit uh let so when you turn you can see the motor I mean I wish I could turn my light on I don't know how to do that I wish I could but yeah the light ain't going off but yeah here's everything right here the uh motors they got the any backlash to shing hexical gears which if you guys don't know you got like your straight cut gears and then you got your hexical cut which kind of I mean you guys should look it up it's kind of actually pretty cool but yeah we took this apart uh, you know here's the top of it and then over here I'm not gonna flip it around because all the buttons will fall out but that's where the circuit board attaches to and then to bring everything together you got your paddle shifters which I might do something cool I might try to customize it or something do a little add a little flavor to it if you will but uh, at the same time I'm not trying to paint anything like really that crazy you know I always wanted to do a little something to make it stand out but I'm not gonna make it all ricer or whatnot throw some shitty paint but yeah uh, that's everything oh look at this now while we're in here we just take these off weight reduction I don't use these at all dang that should be a pretty badass idea but I'm gonna leave it on just cause uh, I mean, if you guys have a wheel stand pro you can probably take those off and I'll 
help eliminate rattles or something, but I'm gonna leave them on uh, just for right now, just because they're like that. Okay, so this is the first photo I ever took with it. You can you can see the uh, cylinder in the back where you hook up your hydraulic stuff. You know, I tossed that through that, or I didn't toss it, but I just took that off. Uh, and then here's the size I use. I use a six inch uh, M8125 uh, bolt to go all the way through it. And then right here, you can see I have the aluminum strips or ten strips. I don't know which one they are. But I got four of them. Cut them out. Uh, you know, probably inch wide and about six inches long. Uh, put them all together, held it on with a vice grip, kind of dealio, you know, uh, and then right here, uh, taped it all together, so it'd be nice and strong, you know, tight, uh, it feels like one piece, you know, but the reason I decided to do thinner pieces is just more malleable, right here is the inside of the hub, uh, you can see where you feed the wire through down in there, and then the back right here, uh, I'm gonna put a little circle or something on where I fed the wire, you wanna make sure to leave, uh, a lot of slack, you know, I left, like, a lot of slack in there because I didn't want nothing to get tangled you know uh, and then here's the final result with the shifter uh, with everything going you can see the two wires sticking out mounted the bracket I tightened the bracket down a lot it is so tight where it's not gonna move works out perfect and on the bottom I uh, put one giant uh, what do you call it washer on there and then bolted it to the wheel stand pro here's my solder joint I did I thought it was a pretty good job it wasn't a cold solder or nothing then I wrapped it with electrical tape to uh, insulate it and then put some F4 tape over it, mounted it up to the Wheel Stand Pro shifter and then had to think of a way to mount uh, the actual shifter on there. So what I uh, came up with is I just went to Walmart and I just grabbed some uh, Velcro and I threw some Velcro on there on both sides and it actually holds really good. And then here's some more footage I'm going to take right now so keep watching guys, thanks. Okay guys and to continue on, uh, kind of talk about the final product really quick. So right here is my wheel, you know, I was a little bit of shake to it now, I just forgot to tighten. There's there's three bolts in here that are really long, uh, say they're about that long, I mean you really can't tell with the fisheye, but they're probably four to six inches long, that connect from the base of the hub underneath here, all the way down to right here. And they, they were so tight already, I didn't want to tighten them down, break the plastic in here, but it actually is not that bad, I mean there's a little bit of jiggle you can see, which is absolutely drove me nuts at first, but uh, I don't think it's worth it to dive back in and accidentally break something. You know, I can still lift it up and stuff. It's fine. Uh, you know, I have a lot of threads going in. You know, the minimum I try to do is I uh, have two threads showing out of the back, which it did, I definitely did, I feel like. But, uh, yeah, so here's the wires uh, right here. Going out of the back, I had to drill a little hole in there. I have no idea if you guys can see. Hopefully you can. If not, I'll up the brightness and it'll be super uh, grainy. But yeah, see how I can push it in and pull it out. There's a, a lot of play in there. And then I left all of this hanging out, you know. Better to have more than less. I, the last thing I want to do is add more uh, splice points in here. You know, even though when you ohm through it, you get about 0 ohms or 0.1 ohms. Every, like, piece of this, every piece of wire, you know, is going to add a little bit of resistance. So the longer the wire, the more resistance. And especially when you crimp down. If you do a bad crimp, you know, then uh, you actually can gain a lot of resistance so the whole point of that you know you are probably thinking oh well what the heck why does it have to have such low resistance is if so say this puts out i think it's about 12 volts uh dc or ac i'm not actually sure probably ac not dc because you die <laughs> you wouldn't die but it'd suck but i think it's ac but anyway it doesn't really matter so say you put out uh 12 volts and then uh you have a little bit of resistance you know so when you pull this down you might only get uh you know like I don't know, like 5 volts to the switch or something, or say the switch is starting to go bad, you know, you, you lose a lot of voltage from that and a lot of power, so uh, so when you get fed back into here, it could be like, oh, you're only pushing it halfway down, but you're actually pushing it all the way down, so I would recommend to use as little splice points as you can, so right here, uh, I just ran this wire, you know, it's not going to make that big of a difference, and then I, uh, uh, shit, what did I do? Ran the wire all the way back through here and everything, uh, and then came up and then added two of those uh, splice points, like I said. Soldered, uh, or no, I crimped them in here, didn't I? Yeah, I crimped them in here. I was going to solder them, but uh, I did not. And then right here is the e-brake going. So you, as you guys can see, uh, it gets a nice push to it. You know, it's very consistent, that's the thing. It was kind of hard to get it all lined up, so it would be work 100% of the time, but uh, I got it down. And then here... I don't know if you guys can see, you can see that washer, so that holds it together. Let me get under view, so you can see it comes up to here, 
holds it nice and pretty guys uh the angles on this might be bad and then right here you can see i use that velcro and this thing is it's a little wobbly but it takes some serious force to take it off i mean i can still put it down and go in reverse and everything fine i haven't had an issue with it yet i would like to uh get a thin piece of steel or something or uh or wood or something down the road and there's two drill marks down here or two uh holes down here and then drill uh the wood to it make it flush at the bottom and then mount it up better but for right now this is working absolutely beautifully i did have a problem with my pedals you know i haven't posted videos because of that i had to fix it so right here you can see uh, i had to re-splice that i mean that wire is so thin it's probably i don't even know 26 to 30 gauge wire it is so 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 thin so i had to take it all apart take my time to solder it because i didn't want to screw it up because you can't just buy a whole new pedal assembly you know, the worst case scenario that would have happened is I would have had to take this apart and then splice uh, it back together to that potentiometer or rheostat. I think it's potentiometer or whatever. It's all the same thing. Or it's not, but to me it is. But yeah, so the, uh, it was basically going and pinching against here. So I ran it underneath and then out, and then this time I ran it on top. So if you guys have it like that, definitely run it on top of the wheels down pro or you will eventually break your wires i broke my clutch so my clutch wasn't working and then uh my throttle started to get shorted out and touched the brake and it just it was a mess so i'll post pictures of that here of what i did but yeah i mean everything everything works beautiful i mean it's a lot quieter you know it's getting quieter and quieter every day i don't go like this and let go and let it spring up you know i, I kind of hold it you know I'm not going to throw it around and treat it like crap, you know. It took a lot of time to do. I did remove uh, this little guy over here. It was not needed. And then this one, I clamped down really tight. Or no, I didn't. But I need to clamp it down really tight. But yeah, the, that's overall how I did everything. If you guys want to know more, uh, let me know. But thank you guys for watching. We're freaking doing it this way. What's up, bro? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be coming, like, doing more update videos and probably, like, a how-to and everything. This is kind of, like, the basics, but thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you guys want to see a really thorough, like, how-to video and everything. And thank you for watching. Wet fingers. Out.